What, what is up, guys? This is going to be my review for Legends of Tomorrow Season, season 3, Episode 11. What is up, guys? This is going to be my review for Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, Episode 11. The Zarya Centric episode that we were totally going to get a couple weeks ago, actually. couple weeks ago, actually. It wasn't that long ago, but I was expecting it to be something completely different. I was hoping that it might have something to do with their comic book origins, maybe something to do with Black Adam, but it turns out nothing of the sort. It's just that she's the main character in this time loop that's going on here, and her being the main character in this episode, I, I expected it to be a lot worse than it actually was. I saw I said in my trailer breakdown for this episode that I don't I, she's not the greatest character, so I don't expect the, her to be a great main character, but she actually really surprised me in this episode and actually was pretty great. She actually did carry this episode as a main character surprisingly well, although I wouldn't want to see another one for a while. I'd prefer it if they focused on the rest of the team or maybe uh, or maybe focus on one other character other than Zari. But for this, for what we got, she was pretty good. In the beginning of the episode, she was how she usually is, which is a little annoying. But throughout the episode, and this is uh, probably her first episode where she got any character development at all, and she got a lot of it in this episode, which makes sense because she was in this quote-unquote time loop because it's not really a time loop, but she was in this time loop for, who knows, probably at least, like, like a month. So it makes sense that she got character development through that, living the same hour over and over and over again, which also that time loop was done really well. But Zara getting her character development, which she hasn't gotten yet up until, up until this episode, other than maybe her, the episode she debuted, and one or two more things with her, with her totem, but this episode was the first episode that, that she got like a lot of character development, which I think that she actually really needed, and it helped her character a lot. This episode was a ton of fun in the way it used the time loop. First of all, there was this whole fun montage, which was a surprising take on the time loop. Usually, whenever they have a time loop, it's just that they they take the mission or the, the, the way to get out of the time loop really seriously the whole entire time. But Legend of Tomorrow took it a different way and said you could just have a break. And it makes sense. She could. She has nothing to worry about. She has all the time in the world. So she can take a break break and there's no consequences so the fact that they did that it was it was a pretty creative take on the the time loop and also this episode uh, other than that regardless of that was a lot of fun and creative in the way they used the time loop and the twist at the end revealing that it was all part of Gideon's plan to have Zari stick on the team and it was all connected to Zari simulator it was a little convoluted but when you think about it it actually makes a lot, or at least a little bit of sense, even though it it is a little bit convoluted. How the, the way I feel about the twist is it is a cool twist. It makes sense. It's unexpected. But I feel like they should have just stayed at the time loop route. They should have made it so that Zari finds a way to get out of the time loop, and Gary was there the whole time for a reason to set up that time loop, and wasn't just placed there to for a joke by Gideon, which was... It was a funny joke at the, when uh, when she said that, but I feel they should have just stuck with the time loop and have Zari get out of it, and she still bonded with all her teammates like you saw without that. But they should have just found a, found a way to get Zari out of the time loop without making this whole convoluted plot of saying Gideon was behind all of it. Like I said again, it's not that convoluted, but it makes a, it, it makes a little bit of sense, but. They should have stuck to the time loop. It was a little unsatisfying that the time loop was never resolved and just said that it never really happened, but it, it did happen. I just would have much preferred it if they stuck to the time loop the entire time. That's my main gripe with the episode. I have a couple other gripes with it, which I will talk about one of them in a second after I talk about Wally West because he did show up at the end. But my other minor, minor gripes are one, the, the scene with the bomb. It clearly took a lot longer than the bomb's countdown was. The way you could explain that was that it was all a uh, simulation, it wasn't real. But at the in the moment, it didn't make any sense to me. But this is a minor complaint because, again, it was in a simulation. An another thing is that I think that this episode didn't really need to exist. They could have just put this ep this uh, character development for Zari spread it out throughout the first 10 episodes of the season. And you would have had the same result without this episode at all. It doesn't really contribute to the plot, which is why it didn't really need to exist. But this is another minor episode because in spite of the fact that it doesn't need to exist, I still really enjoyed it. 
And this brings me to the end of the episode with the introduction of Kid Flash, or the reintroduction, rather, because, first of all, we've seen it before in the universe, but we also have seen it before in this show, in episode one of this season, which is the scene where, which led a lot of people to thinking that he should join the team, and then he did. And also, we, we saw the return of Rip Hunter after, I think, I think six episodes of him being absent. And this went exactly how I said in my trailer breakdown. You could you could go back and watch it. This is exactly what I said. I said that Rip Hunter is going to go recruit recruit Kid Flash at the end of the episode, and that it will be just a small thing to end the episode off. That's literally I'm pretty sure that's literally what I said, and that's what happened. Which it's it's pretty cool that I pred I predicted that. And even though I it would have been cooler if we had Kid Flash and Rip Hunter more in this episode. Because we're not going to get to see them again until episode 13 where Kid Flash joins the team and Rip Hunter might. I don't know about that. But we won't, we aren't seeing Kid Flash till episode 13 again. We're not seeing him next week. So it would have been cool to see him more in this episode. More than like the 40, 40 seconds that we got with both the characters who are some of the best characters on the show at this point. Because so many characters have left. I'm not saying all the other, char other characters are bad but Rip Hunter and Kid Flash are they're not better than the other ones but they are just as good if not a little better i'm not 100 percent sure about that but that doesn't really matter in this episode the it ended exactly how i thought it would end which might be a little unpredictable but what you what can you do about that like there's really nothing you, you can do about that so that doesn't really matter to me it was just that seeing kid flash and rip hunter again was pretty cool despite it being only like 40 seconds Despite this episode being a ton of fun, using the time loop concept pretty well for the most part, aside from the twist, which kind of a little bit ruined it a tiny little bit, and Kid Flash being reintroduced into the episode, uh, into the universe, I mean, despite all of this, this episode felt like it lacked something. It might have been the lack of action and the excitement from that action. It might have been the lack of of a new of a new place they went to. They didn't. Even, they they went to the 70s and they didn't even show that. And they just stayed in the Wave Rider for the entirety of this, of this episode. Which, even though they did explore the entirety of the Wave Rider in this episode, it did feel a little claustrophobic at times. Because every other episode, to the best of my ability, they go out somewhere to a new place, to a new exciting place they visit. But in this episode, it was just the Wave Rider. Which, I'm get, I guess, it really, it really wouldn't work without the Wave Rider. But that just means that a time loop on this show doesn't really work as well as it could because the wave rider just having an episode entirely on the wave rider doesn't really work which hinders this episode a tiny bit not not much but a little bit along with the twist which does hinder the episode a little bit as well in conclusion this episode was a ton of fun zari was a much better character a main character than i expected her to be and she did get some pretty good character development in this episode and the time loop concept for the most part was done really well aside from the twist which kind of ruined it like I said and Kid Flash being reintroduced into the universe is really cool despite it only being like 30 seconds despite all this though it did feel a little claustrophobic them staying on the wave rider so I'll give this episode an 8.5 out of 10 but let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments down below and don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching